before we start the video, I just want to apologize for it taking a while for me to actually upload a video. It's because I've just f completed swim team and I've been stuck with that. And I was also trying to get past mid-years for school. So bear with me, I'm not going to go exactly with my schedule as how it would be for my episodes, because I still need to get my driver's license, and I, s I have a high interest in getting a job pretty soon, so um, don't expect my episode to be on time every time. In fact, this episode was supposed to be uploaded like three days ago, so I just wanted you guys to know that. So anyway, without further ado, enjoy the video. As we last left off, we just completed the Murky Marsh. Yes, the Fretsu 32 here again, and we're moving on to Alucard's cave. Right from the start, let's switch from Grant to Trevor. I forgot to in the last video. First thing you have to deal with are these eyeballs that spur out blood. And these acid drops that seem to melt the blocks upon contact. You can go down there if you'd like, but it just takes too long. We have these fire queens, whoever they are. I honestly don't know what they're supposed to be. Let's just jump over that. Wait for these. Wait for the fire to get rid. I think the boomerang's up there. I have no reason to take a check for it. <laughs> a couple more crumpling blocks to worry about, but... My fear for those will come in a later stage. They're not bad at all here, though. Also, a bit of a graphic difference between between ports. Here you may notice that the background of the caverns is red. Back in the US and Europe versions, they are green. Dark green. It just seems to fit more if it's red. Cause after all, isn't that the color of blood? Thank goodness, I hate that room. Always makes me nervous. It also doesn't help the stage to divide into two parts. Just get rid of the fire. Get rid of these as fast as you can and just wait for the fire to be completely gone. Then you can move on your merry way. Now here are these moving spikes. They take half your life as opposed to all of your life, that, as we saw in other stages. And I just missed my ride that time. I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back. That jump right there, it always makes me nervous, but I made it this time. These presses, they will kill you in one hit, though. Now, for those of you wondering, right here, it is possible to get through with Trevor, but it's just much more precise. In this next room, all you have to do is just take out one last blood, bloody eyeball, and then we can move on. Or just scroll it off screen like that, so yeah. Now we're moving on to Alucard himself. The main problem with him is that these his fireballs that come out can come out in such a way that you cannot dodge them sometimes. The most amount of hits I'd be able to get hit per pass are one. Is one. And he takes 11 hits to kill with the whip.
And I'm not doing very well against them. And that's saying a lot for how easy this guy is. Definitely one of the easiest bosses in the game. Alright, this guy's almost dead. Just a few more hits. One more hit to go, and we will finally get through this. There we go. See you later when I change the state. So yes, we switched the state now. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Draco. I am gonna leave him behind. Well, I'll have to find someone else. Please be careful. Well, you're not gonna find someone else. I'm using Trevor this entire way, so what? Now we're moving on to part two. This place actually is divided into three parts. This place is a bit more treacherous, and the sound's lagging. Another mummy ring to take care of? That one's no problem. The other one is a bit of a pain. Here we actually need to wait, so no speed running that part. With Alucard, probably if you have good timing, but... Oh, I messed up again. Ugh. Time to switch back. First, I want to take out that candle. I want to get it on screen, so now I can take out that guy. That makes the transition in that section easier. Take out all these mummies. Alright. So, they cannot be produced now. There are three on screen. Just quickly get by, so now you can be done with it. Now it's time for part three. The third and final part of the stage. Now we're moving on to the third and final part of the stage. We've gone from red to purple to green. I wonder if that's supposed to mean something. In symbolic references. It might. You want to speed run this place, and if you jump, you hit the spikes right up there. Speed run. Alright. Now, time for Skull Knight's Revenge. This is very bad. Because every time you hit him, bones come out. And I might have it. There we go, finally. This place still wasn't so bad, but... See you in the outtakes.